Welcome back to my channel, Value Investors. In this video, I'm gonna be covering DocuSign. As you likely know, DocuSign is the leader in digital signature capturing. Their software is used by more people than any other solution in this space. They are the masters of this area and they partner with many different software companies, document management companies, in order for their software to be used as people execute documents out in the business world, in real estate transactions, legal documents, HR documents, you name it. I wanted to go through and review DocuSign from an investment perspective and value the company. They just released their earnings. I have a fresh set of financials to take a look at and update my valuation of DocuSign to see if it's a good buy at this time, if it's a sell, or if it's just a hold. Let me tell you more about DocuSign. DocuSign has been around for a long time, considering in the tech space, a long time is five years. They've been around for 15, 20 years. They are the number one application to capture a digital signature and execute a document. It's used heavily in real estate, heavily in the business world. Bit, uh, governments are using DocuSign. It is prevalent in just about everything we do. What's nice to see is the company has grown year after year. More importantly, the company has gotten more and more profitable. And now they don't have to invest a whole lot of capital to make their business work. And they generate a lot of free cash flow. Those are things that I really like. I also like that DocuSign is clearly the leading company in this space. Nobody does it better. Nobody has more partnerships than DocuSign. So they are the leader in their domain. Let me review the fundamentals of DocuSign. To begin with, it's a small cap company, $10.9 billion in market cap. The company has growing net income and growing revenue. They're a $2.7 billion company. If you think of the fact that they are a tech software company, you're buying them for four times sales. That's, that's a very good acquisition price. I happen to believe that DocuSign is a takeover target. It's an acquisition target for a larger software company or a private equity group that would want to buy them and then go, go public at a later date to make money on that uh, reissuing of the stock. That happened a quarter ago where there was a private equity group that was interested in DocuSign. That deal didn't happen but it shows that their valuation is really there, that they are a very attractive acquisition target. Their forward PE is 20.6, which again is very good for a software company. The S&P is at 26 uh, PE. So this is a very good PE for a software company that is growing. They have many analysts covering the stock. Most of them are a buy rating or a hold. Overall in a year, the stock is down 15%. Small and mid cap stocks have not kept up with the S&P. The S&P is being very influenced by the magnificent seven stocks, these massive companies, but these companies, the small cap companies have really been producing good returns for my portfolio. For example, this stock specifically over the last three months is up 18%. So it really is a value investors, you know, choice of picking up a really quality company that has acquisition prices at low rates. Like in this case here, you could have bought DocuSign at $40 a share, and it is now trading at $56 a share. DocuSign is growing. They continue to grow their revenue quarter after quarter. As they get larger, it's harder for them to keep the high percentage growth rate just because they're larger. But if you look at their most recent quarter, they grew at 8% top line. And most companies are really struggling to grow at all, but these guys are growing at 8% in the quarter. If you look at that previous five quarters, it's just positive growth on the top line. A very good sign for a technology company. DocuSign provided forward guidance for the new fiscal year. Their fiscal year begins February 1st and will end at the end of January 2025. That's why it says FY25. But the revenue they're guiding that it'll be between uh, 2, $2, million to $2,928 million. That would represent 8 to 10% growth on their current revenue, which is very good growth. They plan on being profitable, have very good margins, and all that looks good to me. I'm gonna value DocuSign using their free cash flows and discounting all the cash flows I expect the company's gonna produce in the future down to today's dollars. I'm also gonna look at their earnings per share and value the company using their earnings per share. Let's start with free cash flows. So I'm gonna start with their fiscal year 2024 that just ended, plus add the growth rate that I expect, which is 10% as the starting point for free cash flow. And now I'm going to grow that cash flow in the first four years by 10%. And then terminal value, all cash flows beyond year four will grow at 4%. The company historically has grown free cash flows just very quickly, 112% growth rate over the last five years. Over the last uh, five years, they've also grown revenue by 30%.
So the company has been doing really well for a long time. And those growth rates, I believe, are going to happen. I'm going to discount uh, DocuSign by 9%. It's higher of a discount rate because they are a smaller company. So they're a riskier company. When I discount all those cash flows by 9%, I get $21.1 billion of value in those cash flows. I'm going to add the cash, which is a little over a billion dollars, and they have no debt. They paid off all their debt. So their equity value as a company is $22.2 billion. Their market cap is uh, $10.9 billion, which is less than half. And that really represents a nice discount available on those cash flows of 77%. Looking at earnings per share, it's expected they'll be uh, they'll have earnings per share this this year at $2, $2.80. The PE I'm going to use is 28. Very conservative. It's a growing company software. Uh, if you look at Adobe, if you look at companies like that, they, they have PEs up in the 40s. But I'll go with the 28. And even using a low PE at a 5% growth rate and an earnings per share of $2.80, I get a value of $66.83. Compared to the stock price, it's about a 9% discount using earnings per share. When I combine the two, putting more weight on free cash flow method, I get a 54% discount, uh, weighted discount on DocuSign. So it's a substantial discount on this company. Again, I really like that they've been executing their business really well, growing their business, really showing that they're a really valuable company. No big surprise that their stock rose almost 5% today on the announcement of their earnings. So let me review my analysis of DocuSign and make a decision on whether I should buy more shares, just hold my shares or sell my shares in DocuSign. To begin with, I think the company's terrific. I think their business, their software business, capturing of signatures, being number one in their space, I really like all that. I'd love to be a business owner of DocuSign. I think their management team's doing a great job growing the company and the performance is, is a, a tribute to the management team. They don't have any debt, so they're well below uh, debt being less than three times EBITDA. And they offer a great discount on the stock, so I will be buying more shares of DocuSign. Small cap stocks have not kept up with the big, giant, magnificent seven stocks. They just haven't over the last 16 months. And I think it's their time to shine because they have great valuations. And DocuSign is an example of a small company, small cap company that just has a lot of value to offer the value investor. I'm glad I've bought shares in DocuSign and I'll be buying more shares to build a bigger position of DocuSign. Hopefully they get acquired and it gives me a nice bump on top of the gain that I already have on DocuSign. I hope you found my video interesting and I really appreciate you watching.